My name's Dane, and I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawkridge Systems. Today, I'm going to be showing you a new addition SolidWorks has made to assemblies in 2016 called the Mate Controller. In Mate Controller, you can show and save the positions of assembly components at various mate values and degrees of freedom without using configurations for each position. The Mate Controller lets you manipulate specific mates that control degrees of freedom for a design. You can save and recall positions and the mate values associated with the position. Using the positions, you can create animations or a motion study and save them as a video file. Mate Controller supports angle, distant, limit angle, limit distant, slot, and width mates. To access the new feature, click on the insert button on the pull down menu and select Mate Controller. The first selection box in the property manager is for the mates to be controlled. If you click the Collect Supported Mates button, all of the mates with degrees of freedom at the top level of the assembly or within a flexible subassembly will be selected. You can manually select mates from the flyout tree, but you cannot select mates in a fixed assembly. In order to use the angle mate that controls the rotation of the gripper, I will have to make the subassembly flexible. Now, when I click the Collect All Supported Mates button, all three of the mates I need are selected. The next line in the property manager is the mate positions. The first row of icons are add new position, update position, reset position, delete position, reorder positions, and make all mates driven. The next drop down box is for the positions themselves. You can select a saved position and when you do that the graphics area as well as the limit values are updated. Below the position selector is the list of the selected limits and their values at the listed position. Position 1 is created when the feature is opened and has the mate values that were active upon opening the feature. There are two ways to create a new position. The first way is to click the new position button and name the position. The new position will have the same mate values as displayed in the property manager. So since we did not deviate from position 1, position 2 will have the same values. When you change a limit value by using the slider or arrows, the graphics area will update showing the potential motion. I'm going to set the distance mate to 30 millimeters and click the update position button to save the changes to position 2. Another way of creating a new position is to adjust the values before hitting the add position button. So, for position 3, I'm going to set the distance to 150, the angle to 90, and the limit angle to 10. Now that these values are set, I'm going to create a new position. As I scroll through the positions, you can see the graphics area and the mate values update. If I click the reorder positions button, I can rearrange the positions and rename them. You can also drag components into position in the mate controller feature. By default, the components are locked into position and are defined by the numerical values. But you can release a mate by clicking the make this mate driven button. I'm going to unlock the limit angle and drag my assembly into place for the final position. As I drag the component, the value in the property manager changes and the arrows in the graphics area indicate the degrees of freedom for the mate. Once I am satisfied with the position, I can click the add position button. Now that my positions are set, I can animate the motion through the positions by hitting the drop down arrow in the property manager. The first thing you see is a chart with the position, states, and time. The value in the time column is the amount of time it will take to reach the corresponding position from the previous position. A selection box under the table gives you the choice of using all the positions or selecting the start and finish positions for the animation. Clicking the Calculate Animation button will begin the process of creating the animation of the assembly through the positions. The graphics area will display the animation as it is calculated. Once the animation is calculated, you can use the playback options to play the animation in different modes. In a loop, the animation will go from the initial position to the end position, then back to the initial position, retracing its steps. If the video is played in reciprocate mode, the animation is played from start to finish continually. You can then save the video in any of these playback modes. For the continuous modes, the confirmation corner is used to set the end point of the video. A time slider lets you move through the animation 
while the graphics window and mate values update. You can also save new intermediate positions if you like. After accepting the mate controller feature, it is added to the design tree and is editable just like any other feature. Any assembly feature made after will be incorporated into the animation. So if I add a simple hold to the block and then recalculate the animation, the hole is on the block even though it happened after the make controller feature. We can now use this animation in a motion study. If I open my motion study window and use the animation wizard, there is now the ability to use your mate controller feature. As you can see, when I expand the mates folder, the mates are turned on and off at the appropriate times with key points corresponding to my positions and times that I chose in the mate controller's property manager. Let's watch the animation. I can also use the animation to create motors for a motion study. If I create a new motion study and use the animation wizard, I can select motors instead of key points and SolidWorks will create motors to achieve the motion within the animation. So in this video, I have shown you an addition SolidWorks has made to assemblies in 2016 with the mate controller feature. If you liked this video, found the information useful, or want to see others like it, please subscribe to our channel.